This warehouse was actually the starting point for all the exploration going west because Lachine was a very important place in Montreal for that. All the canoes for the, all the exploration were leaving from Lachine. Now, why would anybody in their right mind would become a voyageur to paddle 15 to 16 hours a day to carry heavy loads on his back of up to 80 kilos? Well, imagine that you're the last son of a family. Uh, you won't get anything from your father when he, when he dies. Your brothers are going to get the farm, the land, the money. You get nothing. Your choices are you go in the Navy, uh, you go in the Army, uh, you go and you become a priest, or you become a voyageur if you're strong enough and if you're tough enough. And it would be a great salary if you can make it out alive. As a beginner, as a voyager, you're called a pork eater. You only work six months a year. And for those six months, you're gonna get paid four to five times the salary of someone working on a farm for a whole year. If you're good enough, you're gonna get an offer to go spend the winter with the natives in the forest. You become a winterer. Now you're gonna spend three to five years in the winter with the natives. And each of those years, you're gonna get paid 12 to 15 times the salary of that same man working on the farm. Imagine, after your contract, you're rich. The Highlanders have fled New York for a Montreal canoe. The Great Lakes are black spruce, the Northwest Rendezvous. The Voyagers, the Côte d'Ivoire, the Ojibwe and the